Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for LTI mine tree and if you have not prepared so far and if you want to get prepared within very few hours then this video is for you. Why? Because let me discuss about the pattern and let me discuss about the last minute suggestions to give you okay so at first let me discuss what is the current pattern just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and let me know which content you want more if you want me to upload latest questions latest technical questions latest english ability questions or anything then let me know in the comment section so i'll try to assist you i'll try to make more content on that topic okay okay now uh, what's the latest pattern that is from english ability from logical from quants you will be having total 36 mcq questions and from basic computer programming and computer science cse there will be total 45 mcq questions and there is one uh, section they have introduced that is data analysis or data analytics okay this is the new sections probably 10 questions will be asked from this and at the end spoken english is also there you have to face this and there will be total 20 minutes of questions so total you'll be having one one zero minutes to give the exam okay and you can switch between all the sections so don't worry about that if you have very basic knowledge in english logical and quants and computer programming and uh, computer science then you can crack this round anyway okay okay so let me discuss actually real questions and last minute suggestions which will help you a lot so the first question is shown to your screen that is if let's say cat is coded as 3120 dog is coded as this then what is the code for bat this is very simple and very basic questions but still these type of questions will be asked to you so that's why we have prepared this okay so as you know guys place value for c is 3 place value for uh, for a is 1 and place value for t is 20 right so t20 and for d it is 4 and for o it is 15 and for g it is 7 g7 summit okay so that's that that means you have to replace the place value of b a and t as well here so place value for b is 2 place value for a is 1 and place value for t is 20 so the code will be 2120 okay so i hope you understood so the next question is from directional sense Subham starts walking towards south. After walking 15 meter, he turns to his left and walks 15 meter. He again turns to his left and walks 15 meter. How far is he from his original positions and in which direction? As soon as you read the questions of directional sense, you just start drawing the diagram. It will be easier. It will be time saving. Okay. So Subham starts walking towards south. At first, towards walking south. After walking 15 meter, so 15 meter. Uh, he turns to his left so if it is if he is going towards south his left will be in this side right and he walks for 15 meter again and then he again turns to his left walks 15 meter so same direction as this 15 meter now how far is he from his original positions and in which direction so this is the starting point this is the end point now what's the distance between them so its parallel will be the same so 15 meter right and this is in east direction so the correct option will be 15 meter east direction so this is the correct option i hope you want to now let me discuss from english ability because um, almost 30 Two thirty-six questions will be asked from this round. At first, you have to know what are the most important chapters to prepare for the English uh, comprehension, English ability. Because in this round, you will have more than thirty questions. So it is the game-changing sections uh, from English. You have to prepare well. So what are the important chapters? That is English comprehension itself. Okay, and then uh, synonym and antonym is very important. Then the next section vocabulary. Okay and spot error very important then a uh, jumbling sentence okay then grammar and error corrections okay and then 
so actually this type of questions will be more like mostly asked to you so please prepare through these and let me know if you want me to help you more okay so the first question is shown to your screen from english ability that is choose the correct sentence so these are the sentence provided to you what is the correct sentence please give the answer actually this is very easy questions but the pattern the difficulty level will almost same in your case as well so if you are giving right answer here you can keep the right answer in your exam as well so please give the answer so i hope you have tried at first you know that is he it is a third person singular number and the sentence are in present indefinite tense if it is in present indefinite tense and here the subject is third person singular number so we have to use s or es after the verb okay so he don't it is wrong it is eliminated he doesn't like apples it can be in our consideration he not like apples it actually not works okay uh, i mean it is not perfect he doesn't likes apples so here only one a should be added after do not after like okay so doesn't it is the correct answer he doesn't third option i hope you want to the next question is this what's the synonym for rapid so rapid means that uh, that something which is happening very fast happening very fast slow it is fully opposite okay by name and lazy and steady these are uh, not relevant so quick is the actual synonym for rapid i mean which is the app action which is happening very fast the next question is this from antonym antonym of transparent what is the correct answer so transparent means which is uh, we can see through something okay i mean uh, you can you can you can check your transparent glass transparent uh, phone cover right so we can see through that particular object but there is something clear it is fully synonym with transparent okay lucid obvious obvious means also which is clear right which is understandable understood so transparent is quite similar with last three options so opaque this is the correct answer that means this is the antonym for transparent that means not clear opaque means not clear so let me discuss the next question from spot the error c is the senior than me what is the mistake you have to find from this okay so just before that guys i want you to have the prime materials for lta mind tree because this is the most important uh, prime materials which will be helpful for your upcoming drives if you are purchasing this and let's say if you are preparing through these previous questions most of the questions have been included from the last year and actual screenshots of questions are available there so if you are preparing through these most probably you are going to be selected for the next round and after that you have 100 percent commonly asked interview questions so if you are preparing through these then you are going to select you are going to be selected for the lta mind tree okay so i hope you will consider the link is given in the description box or in the comment section please go through that it will be very much helpful it is nothing in front of your 6.5 lpa job it is nothing in front of your 4, uh, 4 lpa job right you can see the feedback of students five star rated material so please go through that okay okay so the next question i have to discuss that is from the spot the error c is senior than me whenever you are comparing someone with someone and let's say senior junior and inferior if you are using these and if you are comparing then then is not proper uh, uh proper word to use to compare let's say you are comparing some object okay our city this city is greater than this this city which is an you can expect you can assume that uh, as an object but senior this is not an object so in case of senior junior you have to use two this uh, this uh, preposition is the correct okay he see is senior to me so senior than is actually the wrong option okay i mean wrong option mean uh the error lies in senior than okay then the next question is this choose the correct option the committee dash divided on the issue the committee are where being is divided on the issue so at first what students make mistake here that is they choose are or where where divided on the issue 
is uh, are divided on this or were divided in the on this so people as in that committee having multiple people right committee having multiple people so that's why we should use plural verb plural things but committee is actually we treat this as a singular group we this is one group this is a singular number so that's why we'll use singular verb v verb that is is committee is divided on the issue okay i hope you understood the next question is from synonym as well synonym of elected so elected is clearly uh, referring to something which is very extremely happy okay and sad is directly opposite so it is not an option it is not in our consideration so happy will be the best options to choose okay next question which will be a quiz question for you still i'm just going to give you the answers antonym of scarce scarce means which is uh which is not uh, which is not enough right which is not enough scarce means which is not enough but plentiful limited rare sort so plentiful means enough limited means you, you, you know limited rare means also limited sort means also not enough so plentiful is enough so that's why this will be the correct option so now the next question is from parasumble arrange he was tired he completed the work he went to bed he had dinner so what will be the correct uh, correct arrangement you have to arrange by the event happened right so at first at some like any people will they get tired immediately at first they will do some work then they will be tired right so at first he completed the work then after completing as soon as he completed the work he must not go he, he must not went to the bed okay at first he completed the work then he had dinner okay then he was tired that's why he went to bed so that means b d a c b d a c is the correct option the next question is from uh okay this is a very interesting topic that is correctly spelled word you have to choose if this is from vocabulary actually you have to find what is the uh what is the correct spell for accommodate accommodate so accommodate 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 so what's the correct this one is actually correct i don't i don't think i have to explain it more uh error spotting neither of the boys have finished the homework neither of the boys have finished the homework which one having some error in it okay let me discuss at first you have to know that neither is a singular thing okay singular word it is neither is singular neither of the boys have so it is singular and it is referring it is referring pointing to these boys okay so if it is directly pointing to the boys then it should have i mean it should have a singular verb as well okay so singular verb if you are using singular verb then have should be has right so neither of the boys has finished the homework okay we are actually pointing to one boys each time okay neither sorry uh has has this should be has finished so that's why this is the problem have finished okay so synonym of fragile so fragile means actually weak it is very clear we don't have to discuss that much hostile hostile means uh which is aggressive which is aggressive which is unfriendly okay so hostile opposite is friendly so this is the correct option select the correct sentence she enjoy reading she enjoys reading she enjoy to read she enjoy to reading so what is the best option that is i have already told that if it is in past uh, it is if it is in present indefinite and if he or she any third person singular number is present as subject then you have to use s after the uh, after the verb right she enjoys reading this is the correct option then the next uh, is also from parasumble it started raining we went out we took shelter we were playing so at first it started raining uh, sorry it started raining sorry at first we were playing then the rain started okay and we went out to where to took the shelter that means d 
A B C D A B C. Okay. The next question is from synonym and antonym. So please give the answer in the comment section, guys. Obvious, which one is the correct synonym for this? I am waiting for your reply. Please give the answer in the comment sections. And for antonym of ancient is what? Please give the answer from this. I hope you will give that. Now the next question is from spot the error. He did not went to school. So he did not went to school. What is the best option? That is he did not went. So already it is in uh, you say past indefinite. And after using did we should use verb one basic uh, base, base form of the verb you have to use. So go should be used here, right? He did not go to school. So that's why not went. This is the options, right? Okay. Last question is from vocabulary. Choose the word meaning fear of heights. Fear of heights. It is, uh, I think, uh, sorry, acrophobia is the best option. I mean, correct option. Choose the meaning fear of heights. So acrophobia is the correct option guys if you have very less time if you want to prepare within very few hours and if you want to prepare for the quants logical english and basic programming computer science and all then please refer the prime materials for ltm entry which will be very much helpful for your upcoming drive and please trust me once and let me give the feedback and let just let's just give the feedback after your exam okay let's just take one gamble okay so thank you for today's